Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 Fujifilm cameras, 2021. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The X-T200 has serious retro style. It's wrapped in a black leatherette, with the composite top plates finished in a lighter tone. We received the silver edition for review, but you can opt for dark silver if you prefer a more understated style, or champagne gold if you want to add some flair to your life. The body is smaller all around than a typical consumer SLR, 3.3 by 4.8 by 2.2 inches without a lens, HWD, and fairly light at 13.1 ounces. You can buy it as a body only, a good choice if you're upgrading from an older camera and already have a set of lenses. The X-T200 shares a lot of tech, and looks, with the X-A7, available for $100 less but without a viewfinder. There are some other differences, though. The X-T200's wrap has a rougher, pebble finish, and a slightly deeper hand grip. The overall feel is a little more premium, and gives more confidence if you plan on pairing it with a telephoto lens. I mostly used it with a newer entry in the catalog, the XC 35mm f2. It has the exact same optics as the XF 35mm f2 WR, but drops weather protection and an aperture ring, and comes in at half the price. There's a built-in flash, as well as a hot shoe for an external strobe or wireless trigger. The switch to pop the flash open is at the left, nested below a customizable control dial. The dial can serve any number of functions, by default it cycles through the in-camera film modes. The X100 series has evolved from a handling perspective over the years, but its basic look and feel are unchanged. You can get it in your choice of all black or a two-tone black and silver look. The viewfinder sits in the corner, offering your choice of an optical or through the lens electronic view, and the lens is a fixed prime with a moderately wide angle of view. The image sensor is as large as you'll find in Fujifilm's mirrorless camera systems and entry-level SLRs. Because of this, the X100V isn't tiny to the point that it slides into a small pocket, but it will certainly find a home in the larger confines of jackets. It measures in a 2.9 by 5.0 by 2.1 inches, HWD, and is rather dense, packing 1.1 pounds into its frame. The body has a modest contour to serve as a grip, and offers dial-driven tactile controls, hammering its old-school aesthetics further home. For the first time, Fujifilm has included dust and splash protection. It certainly ups the desirability for travelers and documentary photographers who want to make images in rain and shine alike. You'll need to add the $45 RX100 adapter ring to prevent drops from getting into the lens, and adds a standard 49mm filter thread to the lens. There are third-party solutions too. Nisi sells a clear UV filter that attaches to the lens without the need for the RX100 adapter ring, it costs $39 and is designed smartly, so that you can still use the slip-on metal lens cap with it attached. The company also sells a holder for rectangular glass filters, including a graduated neutral density filter for landscape work, in kits starting at $1.50. The lens has new optics, but the same 23mm focal length and f2 maximum aperture as older models. The Fujifilm X-E4 is a lightweight, rangefinder-styled camera built around a 26MP APS-C sized sensor that uses the company's X-mount lineup of lenses. Built as a fun-to-use and compact photographic companion, the X-E4 is the smallest X-mount camera on the market, encouraging you to keep it around wherever you go. With Fujifilm's latest sensor and processor combo, the X-E4 inherits a lot of the goodies from the most recent Fujifilm cameras, including updated autofocus, solid video specs and really impressive burst shooting rates. Relative to the Fujifilm X-E3, the X-E4 brings a suite of updates, the most important of which is the latest 26MP X trans sensor and quad-core X processor 4. This means the image quality and, in some cases, 
performance of the XC4 will be a match for the best that Fujifilm has to offer in its X-mount lineup. The camera's body and controls have also been slimmed down relative to its predecessor, but we'll delve into those details in the next section. That 26MP sensor brings with it really solid image quality, a native base ISO of 160, down from 200 on the XE3, and super-fast readout speeds that let the XE4 fire away images at 20fps with the electronic shutter, or 30fps if you opt for a 1.25x crop. The company describes the XS10 as a cross between the company's XT30 and the XH1 cameras, you get the guts from the former and the design and in-body image stabilization feature, in a new miniaturized form, from the latter. The XS10 camera is targeted toward both beginning and experienced users who may have Canon or Nikon DSLRs and want something a little more familiar than a typical Fujifilm camera. And, with a price of $999 for the body dash $100 more than the X-T30, it's not necessarily out of reach for that audience. Being a smaller camera, it's no surprise that the X-T4's IBIS unit wasn't going to fit into the X-S10. So, the company designed a new one that is 30% smaller and lighter than the X-T4's. A new motion sensor makes the unit more efficient, and the X-S10 has a redesigned circuit board that reduces power consumption. There's a very small difference in stabilization performance on the XS10 versus the XT4, just half a stop. It offers six stops of shake reduction on all unstabilized Fujifilm lenses save for the XF16 to 55mm f2.8, which weighs in at 5.5 stops. Most stabilized Fujifilm lenses vary from 5.5 to 6 stops, save for the XF 80mm macro, which offers 5 stops. These differences primarily have to do with how much coverage the lens offers outside the sensor area, not necessarily whether the lenses have their own stabilization. The joystick, officially known as the focus lever, works a bit differently on the XS10 than on other Fujifilm models. Now, when you press it inward, it punches into the selected focus point. The clickable rear dials on other Fujifilm models operated this way by default. Simply nudging the stick in any direction allows you to select the focus point, and you can also use the dials to select the focus area mode, single point, zone, wide slash tracking. You can change the functions of the joystick to a limited extent. Pushing the joystick straight inward will allow you to change the focus area instead of punching in, where you can assign it to do nothing. The X-T4 is solidly built with an all-metal design that retains all the mechanical controls you'd expect from the brand. Fujifilm's Filmera body design is wrapped around an impressive new shutter mechanism, with in-body image stabilization and a fully articulated rear touchscreen that can be turned around so it won't get scratched in your bag. The first thing Fujifilm fans will notice about the X-T4 is the new shutter mechanism. Its improved damping has produced a satisfyingly slight shutter snap, even in mechanical mode. It's quieter than the silent mode on other cameras I've used. The more important upgrade is the burst shooting rate, which can now hit 15 frames per second, FPS, with autofocus. That's with the mechanical shutter, if you wish to use the electronic shutter, you can go up to 20 FPS, matching its predecessor, the X-T3. What's just as impressive is the speed at which the X-T4 can clear its buffer, the place where image data is stored before it's saved to the memory card. There are cameras out there with larger buffers, but once the X-T4's buffer is full, it clears in less than 2 seconds, which means there's almost no lag when shooting quickly. Sport and portrait photographers, this is a camera worth checking out. The in-body image stabilization, IBIS, is another welcome addition.